What was that song you played in 20, was it 19? 2020? Which one? Something's got me. Da -da -da. What? Molly's got me sweating or something. You did a little too early. Off the juice. Not today. Oh, off the juice? Off the juice. <laughs> what are the lyrics? Off the juice. Tony got me Cody got me stripping. stripping. Yeah. That was a great anthem to that prep. But you weren't off the juice. I was not off the juice. Are you off the juice? Full natty right now. gas out of your system but like you're getting to that point where you don't know if it, something might come out no i don't want to know if you're gonna shit your pants i did you did no i didn't i'm you just did? curious if i'm the only one that does that probably yeah pre-workout station three feet today yeah sample lemonade electrolyte in there beautiful mix i don't think i ever even showed this on youtube I got the gold you didn't even acknowledge it actually. On to the next one. Chasing that 10 mil. But yeah. 10 pretty, mil. We got some work to do. But yeah, it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty fired up when I came on it. So the guy who delivered it to me even saw it. Like, he's like, how much is it for? Is it a hundred K or a million? I'm like, a million. He's like, cool man. And he knew it was, so that was cool. But yeah, I don't know. Good cool little milestone. Appreciate you guys for the support as always. But <laughs> this year's gonna be better. One than million ever. subscribers late. What? Mm. Because we're at two million now. Yeah. Well, I didn't know you had to go apply for it. You have to apply for it? Yeah, I had to like go in and like register my account and like say I want it and put my address. It doesn't just send it to you automatically. So, there it is. Where's your 100k one? I never got it. Oh. I don't know where it went. Oh. Oh, it tastes really good. I haven't had three peat in a minute. I was using that other funnel. We literally have a raw funnel on my desk. I'm losing my mind. All right. <sighs> what is up, YouTube? It's like day. Sadly, I'm traveling again tomorrow, so we're trying to get to the gym, get this workout done packed and ready to go but got to crush legs right now so we're gonna head over there train some legs we've got some new equipment a new pendulum squat i've never used before so i'm gonna try that out have some fun with it and then to arizona tomorrow so calvin's coming this time so i'm not gonna disappear for two weeks and have no videos and then we're gonna go from there to new york and travel around but i think calvin's also gonna be in new york for a while so won't be missing on the youtube we'll be slacking we'll be earning the gold plate gold play button i don't even know what they call it but about it, so I'm gonna head to the gym. See you there. Is he doing quad extensions? Yeah. We're gonna put two tens on the machine. Well, I don't try all my accessories, so yeah. Bro, power lifters? I'm not a fucking else. power lifter. Don't You're, get it twisted. You train like a power lifter. You like do one compound movement or complex movement, however you want to call it. And then you go to do bicep curls, you do two reps like this, and you're like, I don't want to do this anymore, then you just stop. Trust me, if you did a complex, you'd understand why. I don't know. What's the point of the accessory thing if, like, no one ever tries? I don't know. For hypertrophy purposes, but I don't understand doing, like, three sets of box jumps and then three sets of bicep curls. It just seems irrelevant to me. Box jumps, super set with bicep curls. Maybe that's a secret. Shoulders, arms, chest, nothing on my lower back. And my lower back has been fucking killing me lately. In the last few days. That sucks. What? That sucks. See if that machine's gonna hurt my back.
contraction my quads has been beautiful since getting massages on it that it hurts when I start with this. But it feels good. The machine I was using back at home, pin loaded, and it didn't go heavy enough. You can throw as much weight as you want on this thing, and it's heavy as fuck. So it felt good. Knees are warm, quads are pumped. Now I'm trying to move on to a heavy combat movement. These kids are over here playing on it, so see if they're actually using it or having a nap on it. When was the last time you used something like that? Like West Coast? Or what? The pendulum. In Canada last week. Oh. Not that one. Same one West Coast has, so just in Canada. That was fucking so annoying. He's heavy. It's my first time using this. I saw Vaughn using it yesterday. And I asked why the hell he had a little weight on the front. Apparently it's supposed to take the tension off your knees. It's like a counterweight. I don't really know how much that really works. It's a little 25 there, but it's worth a shot. It'll save my knees. But pendulum squats are this shit. I love these things. Feels heavy as fuck, so I'm gonna put on one more plate and see if that'll come in. Don't let this machine fool you. Jesus. Four plates was like easy. Two more plates on, I feel like I just added fucking 10 plates on. That was really heavy. And I realized halfway through, if I fail, there's no safety. I'm just dead. And Calvin would let me die. So it'd be RIP to see bomb My camera's more important than you. This is true. Very true. Oh my god. I still can't breathe when I have loud music in my ears. My body forgets how to operate. Can't talk, too out of shape. Been doing cardio for the last 10 days. Talking shit about my 25? Yeah, that's all, you, that's, that's all it looks like you're doing. Just 25 pounds. <laughs> I lost all my strength, it's all gone. I want a men's physique now. I'm wearing board shorts to hide my tweaks. Someone's gonna clip that and they're gonna turn it into a real thing. Probably me. I'm not talking shit. If I were to wish to hide my legs, what division would I go to? I got a headache from that machine. Gotta to fly tomorrow too.
the place in this room. I was going to try and pre exhaust my legs a little more on this because I didn't want to put too much weight on the. Instead of Ian over there. Too much weight on this fucking leg press. And here we are. This machine's light as hell. So, I'm going to try and max it out. No, you haven't fully maxed it out. Oh shit, to the bottom level. No, isn't that just a rack? No, I think that for more weight. Oh. Not even halfway there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ignore everything I just said, I'm still a skinny bitch. Control my reps a lot more than I used to just drop into the hole as hard as I could and I'd fire up really hard. Because I'm naturally like a high jumper, I could jump really high and using my glutes like that helped. But my glutes started to grow more than my quads did. You don't want huge glutes. Especially in classic physique, it can make your waist look bigger when they get huge, huge. So I'm trying to slow it down a little bit, mentally keep the tension in my quads and fire up from there. Beautiful. Very painful. Very beautiful. You do. Oh, I'm being lightheaded. Wow, room spinning. I'm gonna do so it's not super heavy. I'm gonna do like 10 to 12 reps. And I'm gonna keep my feet up here for 30, 40 seconds. And then go again, go again. Let my feet down maybe and then do that like two more times. And keeping your feet up there so that gravity is pulling blood down. Your body's trying to rush blood to the muscle that you're working. It fucking hurts. But you get a sick pump. Feels good. Pain is beautiful. I Living thought you were gonna pain. say like you're gonna do this and then superset it with this. No. I'm just gonna do this to keep my legs up. Still sucks.
Mm. Just not flipping at all. Hips are too sitting here. Probably the equivalent level of pain is giving birth to a child. So when Courtney has a, a baby now, I'll be like, babe, chill. I've done a rest pause, keeping my legs on the machine. For leg press. I know what you're going through. It's not that bad. And she'll probably be like, oh, okay, you're right. It doesn't even hurt. <laughs> probably gonna happen like that. She won't yell at me or slap me or, you know. Playing with my hamstring curls a little bit, a little more specifically. Starting pointing my toes and rotating a little bit out. I like putting the pressure kind of on the outside of your heel rather than straight down. And I can feel it more in my lower, like outer half of my hamstring, which is what would be showing if I'm hitting a side chest. Like that little hang there right above the knee. And you can really actually, I, mean, I can at least feel like the mind muscle connection shift right into that spot as I rotate and point my toes. But you're obviously a lot weaker there because it's so much more isolated onto your hamstring only and that part of your hamstring. So I go to as controlled failure as I can and then I point my toes up and then I go again. Still just trying to stay super controlled and keep the tension on my hamstring. But I'm a little stronger when my toes are pointed back up into a normal position rather than like a ballerina. And it burns the shit out of But you can feel them growing and feel the stretch. And you get some nice meaty hands. really tight hamstrings or if this exercise is really working but it feels like my hamstrings would tear off the bone. Uh. 
What was that song you played in 20, was it 19? 2020? Which one? Something's got me. Da -da -da. What? Molly's got me sweating or something. Oh, off the juice? Off the juice. <laughs> what, what are the lyrics? Off the juice? Tony got me Cody got me stripping. Tripping. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great anthem to that prep. But you weren't off the juice. That was not off the juice. Are you off the juice? Full natty right now. Nick Spring's power is gonna make a video about me. Seabum <laughs> admits to natty status. <laughs> Fake natty. Clickbait. You're gonna get Seabum claiming natty this Olympia. And then he makes a full video about it, but he was just kidding, so like. <laughs> <laughs> not a shot at Nick, I like Nick. Prep starting, you know what that means? Nope. The year of the calf again. I look pretty small in this water angle. Disrespect. You gotta film from the bottom up. You look better there? No. <laughs> Thumbnail. Chris puts oil in his calves? I actually don't even have oil in there. There's just pure silicone implant. I got rid of my favorite calf machine. Maybe it won't be the year of the calf. Or maybe change is good. Change is beautiful. Sometimes getting pushed out of your comfort zone leads to growth in the calf region. The only hope. Do two events. You left some uh, bum juice in that. Uh, I'm saving it for the next guy. Sebastian was gonna go look it up. <laughs> Kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie, this guy right here runs their ambassador program and he can't even fucking squat to death. That's it. That <laughs> but, is such cat. But he can't even hit 90 degrees and he's pulled sumo. <laughs> he's never done a deadlift in his life. Not one completed rep, just pure red lights. <laughs> kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Told myself crazy. we'd never hire someone to pull stone hey. sumo, but I guess we're a little desperate here at Raw Nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> Bad luck. That better? Yeah. Bad juju? No bad juju here. When I do seated calf raises, I feel it burn a lot more, a lot quicker, so they get a deeper stretch and a tighter contraction. So I don't think that's a much better exercise, at least for me. But it's still good to mix it up. When I do standing, because it's a little bit less like isolated on my calf or whatever, I tend to do drop sets like that and just really get that burn to finish off the workout. Make sure your calves are nice and pumped. Pull your socks up extra high so they look fucking fake natty status. You're good to go. And that's a wrap on the leg day. All right, so it's a wrap on today's leg day. Felt good, felt good. I was heavy ass on the fucking pendulum thing, but prep starts and this is the point where 
You get tired, you get a little hungry, but you gotta push harder than ever. And if I wanna keep muscle, I wanna stay thick and like keep up with some of the young guns coming up after me, I gotta keep killing myself every single workout. So it's exciting having a goal in end right now. It's a lot more motivating to kind of kill myself. I was already, but now it's just like, fuck it. It's only 12 weeks, it's really short actually. It's only 12 weeks, so time to buckle up. Buckle up for the ride and kill myself. So shit's about to get real, but tomorrow we're flying to Arizona. Well, Calvin's leaving in two days and then we'll get some travel vlogs going out there, train at some new gyms and kind of hit the hay over there. So chilling in beautiful Arizona and I guess I'll see you guys over there. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.